your dog. The rest of you lads are lost. Get the chest. The chest is right here. Somebody's been here before this pew. It's been turned inside out. Where is the back in there? No, the money's here. Where's that? It's the back in there. Flint's back, I mean. I don't see it nowhere. Let go. Is it on bone? Now he's been overhauled already. There's nothing left. Well, then it must be those people at the inn. It's that boy. I should have put his eyes out. Well, they can't have gone far, lads. There the door bolted when I tried it. Scatter! Find them! Find that boy! Find the map! Rout the house out! Jimmy, the fool! I'm running! I'm running! I'm running! I'm running! I'm running! I'm running! Outside! Scatter! Find that boy! Find the map! Flint's map! You got your hands on a fortune, lads, if you hang on a leg! Oh, shiver my soul if I had his eyes! Take my off, Pew! There's no one here. Well, if you have the pluck of a weevil in a biscuit, you find them still. Hey, ah. here we've got the doubloon. Curse the doubloon. Flint, man. Take the money. Stop the squalid. Squalid, yeah. Well, if you want to swallow the drops, you need to jump down. Right. 
I'll fit out a ship in Bristol Dock and take you and Jenkins here and, and Hawkins and all. And we'll get that treasure if it takes a year. Well, it's clearly the map of an island. Yes. Skeleton Island. Look, east, south, east, and by east. Ten feet, tall tree, spyglass shoulder, bearing a point to the north of north, north, east. That's it, man, that's it. I tell you, that's it. Tomorrow, I set for Bristol. And in three weeks' time, two weeks, ten days, we have the best ship and the choicest crew in England. Right. Hawkins here should come as cabin boy. Oh, swear, I don't know what I You'll make a famous cabin boy, Hawkins. Polony, well, I'll go with you and so will Hawkins. Yeah, There's only one man I'm afraid of. Who's that, sir? Name the dog. It is you, sir. For well, you cannot hold your tongue. We are not the only ones who know of this map, sir. Right. The rogues that attack the inn tonight know full well that we have this map. <laughs> Begging your pardon, sirs, if I'm interrupting. It's the one-legged man. <laughs> Cheers, Jim. This is the man who saved your life. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. The lad's dead right. Dead right. Come elect any way you choose. There's only one of them. He <laughs> saved my life. Well, yes. yes, it was he who told us you were under attack here by pirates. But I said him being Jenkins. Mr. Silver got to us before him, Jim. He keeps a public house in Bristol, and he overheard these rogues plotting the whole thing. Oh. Right, if it hadn't been for Silver, we'd have got here too late. Silver, come. I'd like you to meet Hawkins. Jim Hawkins. Hey, Jim Hawkins, eh? Well, the pleasure's all mine. The pleasure's all Long John Silver's entirely, entirely, boy. I'm sorry, Mr. Silver. I mistook you for somebody else. <laughs> well, that's all right, then. That's all right, then. I hear you talking of a seafaring voyage, or did I? Oh, easy, Captain, easy. Gentlemen, made an old friend of mine, Captain Flint. With pleasure.
says he isn't in it at all, did he, sir? I tell you, sir, I'm more excited by the prospect of the sea than all the treasure in the world. Treasure? Uh, Mr. Silver, sir! Hang the treasure! Oh, John Silver! Okay, okay, okay. Well, 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 well. Bless boy. my soul, never a welcomer sight than you may lay to that, eh? Hey, hey. Will he talk again, sir? Who's that? Well, who talk again? Your bird! Hey, Morgan. Oh, you mean Captain Flint? Oh. Well, you there, cook, sir. You may go below. The hands will be wanting supper. Aye, aye, right away, oh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I should like a word with you, if you don't mind. I'm always at the captain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why, out of that. Go below and get some work. I dare yes, say sir. there will be no favorites on my ship, Squire yes, Sir Lord. Oh, in the galley, Small it, the sir. The knives, eh? Oh, it's well, I trust. Uh, ship shape and seaworthy, sir. No, uh, sir, it isn't. And I may as well speak plainly, gentlemen. I do not like this voyage. I do not like the men. And I do not like the ship. That is the short and sweet of it. Really, sir? Well, perhaps you don't like your employer either, is that it? No, no, Steve, it's David Trelawney. There's no need for harsh words. The captain must explain himself. You say you don't like this voyage, sir. Why? Well, I was engaged, sir, on what we call sealed orders to sail the ship wherever this gentleman here should bid me. Well, so far, so good. But now I discover that we are sailing for treasure. And from whom do I hear that, gentlemen? From my own hands. Now, I don't call that fair, do you? No, I do not, sir. Lindsay, I swear. Well, I do not like treasure voyages on any account. And I do not like them, above all, when they are a badly kept secret. Is that fair? Well, now, see here. If you're suggesting for a moment that I blab this thing about... I beg your pardon, Captain Sire, but she lies at the ready, and we're all awaiting your orders. Yes, well, thank you, Mr. Hems. Well, Mr. Hems, sir, uh, you may go below, then, and await them. Aye, sir. What you are saying, then, in other words, is that you fear a mutiny? Oh, no, no, gentlemen, if I were saying that, I should not be standing here talking with you. I should be in my own home having tea. No, these gentlemen here may well be honest for all I know. I merely want to know if you gentlemen are determined to go on this cruise. We are, sir, like iron. Yes, well, then I should like it known that I am the captain of the ship, and I should like things done in my way. Well, that very well may be, And so sir. it well, shall be known, sir. Yes, thank you. Doctor. So it shall be done, yes. sir. Quite yes. sir. Uh, I, I say, Lipsy, I don't like that man, sir. Neither do I. Jim Hawkins, for shame, boy. Hawkins, lad, that'll be quite a nut out of you, sir. <laughs> Neither do I, he says. <laughs> Neither do Hawkins, I. Hawkins, <laughs> whether or not you like me does not signify, but whether or not you can obey orders does, for it may well mean your life one day. Now go join the hands on deck. It looks as though we're going a-sailing, lad. <laughs> 